Today we're going to have a look at the Suzuki RPM40 drum machine. This is a vintage 1980s model. Um, also marketed and sold under the original manufacturer's name of the Seal MDP40 model um, from an Italian manufacturer. I find it kind of interesting that this is probably the only case in which you'll find a uh, Japanese outfit co-opting a European electronics brand. Uh, so we have a, a basic uh, PCM set of 8-bit or possibly 12-bit samples. Uh, by hitting the manual drum we can go through and sample each of our sounds. I personally like the claps and the rims on this unit. Uh, I think the hats are a little cheesy, Casio sounding, and anything on a cymbal from this era is kind of trash, but that can be fun for what it's worth. So in the manual drum mode, you can just play the patterns accordingly. Uh, so we'll take it off manual and we'll go ahead and start. Uh, my personal favorites for house and techno are the, the disco and the funky patterns, which for an uh, 80s machine is kind of funky. Can add some hand claps here. And then there's a designated uh, swing function doesn't allow us to adjust the swing percentage, but does calculate that automatically. This machine also gives us uh, some MIDI functionality. On the back here we have a uh, MIDI in, out, through, as well as a pedal connection for the rare uh, triple foot pedal that came with the original units. Uh, MIDI receives on Omni from best I can tell because I was playing around with it with some other machines and it seemed like everything was triggering it. So there's a basic rundown of uh, most of the rhythms on this. Uh, like I said, with MIDI functionality, you can use this as a, use this as a sound module uh, triggered by other MIDI sources, like a drum machine of your choosing or a DAW or sequencer. So yeah, that's the quick little rundown on this uh, Suzuki RPM40 slash Seal MDP40 
drum machine. So how does it play with other machines? Well, here you go. Thanks for checking it out.